Hey guys, before we get going, quick reminder, there is a limited time offer. I opened up 10 more slots to the Discord server for $10 a month, and it's been flying off the shelf. We only have two spots remaining, so if you want to get in there now, now's your chance, first come, first serve, and let's get into the video. Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with the end of another trading week. And let's take a look at the heat map here. It's kind of fooling because there's a lot of green on the board, but it's not big green. It's pretty much a flat day. I mean, take a look at big tech here. Apple up 0.04%. Really, all the big tech stocks are less than a percent movers. AMD was red today, even though it was green yesterday. Down about half a percent. NVIDIA also down 1.2%, Micron up 3%, so all around just a flat day, although it was green overall. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you an interesting chart I found as far as the overall economy today, and I want to talk about Space and Virgin Galactic today. I'm going to show you the presentation from their recent earnings from Q3 of this year, and it kind of lays out some of their plans for the upcoming months and next year, which I found to be very interesting. And then also, we'll end the video with some updated technical analysis on SPCE. So let's get right into it. The chart that I saw that was interesting was actually this right here. And this chart is from a Wall Street Journal survey of economists. And they're seeing a diminishing odds of the economy being in a recession within the next year. So you can see... It peaked up to almost about 95% recently, but now we're back down to about 27%, which is where we were actually pretty much right at the beginning of the year. So it's interesting that The Economist right now, or at least a survey of The Economist, think that we are pretty much right back to where we were pre-illness. Now, the thing I will kind of caution you about is usually crashes and things like that happen when people least expect it. So I would seem that right now is when people are seemingly, you know, not really expecting it because it's not as high as it was during kind of peak illness times. And it's kind of interesting because cases right now are higher than they have ever been. So I would have thought that this thing would have just continued going up, but instead it's rallied back down. So I don't know, take it for what you will, but just found this chart interesting. Let's take a look at the Virgin Galactic PowerPoint now. So here's their slides from the recent earnings and their investor update from earlier this month in November 5th. And this is freely and publicly available on the website. So you can check this out whenever you want. But the one slide that I thought was very interesting was kind of their plan. So they want to fly thousands and thousands of people to space. They want to do a multi-year effort and they're aiming for 400 flights per year per spaceport. So they're expecting an annual $1 billion in revenue opportunity per spaceport. And they think that obviously that each spaceport could be a powerful economic engine. I mean, that's absolutely crushing the game if they can even come close to these numbers. If we scroll through the slides even more, you can see kind of some updates on their program. November 2020, first space flight from Spaceport America in New Mexico, two pilots, First quarter of 2021, they want to have their second space flight from the same spaceport in New Mexico. This time, instead of having just two pilots, they want to have two pilots and four employees in the cabin. Then later on in the first quarter of 2021, they want to have a third space flight from again New Mexico, two pilots plus two passengers. And this is when Sir Richard Branson is expected to have his first space flight. I mean, they're also trying to roll out a second spaceship in the first quarter of 2021. I mean, some of these things are very uh, aggressive. And I think if they can even accomplish half of these things, I have to imagine that their share price for their stock is just going to go up to the moon. So I'm really looking forward to this. I haven't found a good setup to enter into the stock because it's been going green ever since the, for the past few days. I'm looking for a little bit of a pullback so I can sell some cash grip puts and get in on the cheap. But this is a really interesting slides. I mean, they have their financial numbers, if you want to read through, their cash flow statement. So it's all very interesting, especially from an investor standpoint. So I highly recommend you go to their website, check it out. It's not hard to find, but if you need 
a link, just send me a comment below or message me on Discord. But let's get right into the technical analysis. So here's the trading view chart on space, ticker symbol SPCE. Again, we're looking at daily candles. So each candle represents one full day of trading. And you can see I drew this trend line a few days back. And basically for the past three days, we've kind of been basically bouncing right off this trend line in terms of the intraday low. I mean, we've had three green ins in a row. Today, we were up again 3% to now about $22.27. So I'm gonna be curious to see how long this kind of upward trend holds up. If I zoom out here, you can see we've had a decent pullback. I mean, our most recent highs where we closed were around $23. Intraday, they were around $24 and some change. So I'm curious to see, is this gonna act as an area of resistance somewhere around $23? And we'll have to pull back or take a little bit of extra oomph to break above it. If I zoom out even more, you can see it's all time highs. We're all the way up here back at $42. But back earlier this year, the all time high intraday was around $27 or so. So I'm very curious to see what is in store for space. The RSI curve is showing that we're getting pretty close to being overbought. So I am expecting a little bit of a pullback. You've seen me talk about in my recent videos that, you know, space trends pretty closely to the orange line, which is the 21 day moving average. And as you can see, we've kind of rocketed past above it. So I am expecting a little bit of a pullback. It's just a matter of when or where this ceiling is. I mean, I'm waiting for that pullback. I hope we have a strong pullback like this candle here, or maybe this candle. That way, again, I can either swing trade this for a little bit of a profit, or I can sell some cash secured puts to run the wheel on it. Space is looking better and better to me every day. This is one of those tickers where I would love to kind of dump a decent amount of money in at a low price because I think if they can even come close to accomplishing some of their goals, I could easily, you know, five, 10 years from now, I could easily see the stock being worth a couple hundred dollars at least. My biggest fear right now with Virgin Galactic is looking back maybe five years from now or 10 years from now, maybe 20 years from now, and space is trading in the hundreds of dollars or maybe even thousands of dollars and me saying, oh my gosh, I own this stock at $19 and I sold it off. Why didn't I keep those shares? So this is something where I'm really curious to see how they perform in the first quarter of next year. Because like I said, if I see them knocking down their goals one by one, then maybe I'll dump a few thousand dollars, maybe 10,000, maybe $25,000 into Virgin Galactic on the cheap, sell covered calls on them as I watch, hopefully the stock appreciate, try not to get my shares called away. If my strikes do get tested, just keep rolling them out and just holding Virgin Galactic long-term while selling covered calls on it. The nice thing about space is that its premiums are always juicy. So even if you end up bag holding this, you can still collect juicy premiums by selling uh, the wheel strategy on this. So this is something that I am looking forward to. That is my my perfect scenario of space, you know, getting into space somewhere in like the mid tens, like $15, $16 maybe. Even better if I can get in like $10, 11 $12 and then just ride this wave uh, for years and years and decades as hopefully it climbs and climbs and climbs. There have no competition. You know, you have Blue Origin from Amazon basically. You have SpaceX from Elon Musk but they're not doing the same thing in terms of space tourism and they're not publicly traded. So if a, if a competitor wants to get in on this market, obviously you need millions and millions of dollars to even you know get going. So space does not have a lot of competition. They have a wide moat, some people like to say. So I am looking to get into it at some point. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever traded space or if you're planning on it or if you currently own shares. I'm sure you've made good money through options if you're trading options on it. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and happy trading.